just out here cleaning up. Um, we haven't had rain, real rain, in like two weeks. Um, he put a half cage on each of these flowers because they're always tipping over and I wanted a trellis but we really can't afford to get the trellises I want and there's really no other alternative so um, he went ahead and got these cages I don't care for them very much but I mean it'll keep them from falling over so we don't mow them over um, right now you can see we've got a little bit of a drought happening so um, and we don't have an outdoor spigot long story they're all broken um, and uh, so we do the rain barrels and uh, we water stuff from the um, from the house anyway and it's a lot of work but it's rewarding it's just it takes a lot um, I am freed up uh, from babysitting because the kids are going to be going into well the my four-year-old granddaughter is already in preschool and then the two-year-old is going into the same preschool so I'll be hanging out with them a little bit this summer and babysitting on the weekends and whatnot when mom when my daughter their mom needs me um so yeah I'm, I'm working out here a little bit we're trying to clean up stuff it's a little crowded right now and I replanted stuff I love uh, it looks crowded but it's wildflowers and you know the bees are going crazy and the birds love it so I'm just gonna keep on doing it and we planted a whole bunch more stuff anyway um, we're gonna go down here I mean it's not as pretty with the cages but it's keeping them straight up I don't know if you can see and then we have the trough garden the basil needs to be harvested the old basil and then um, I've got some new from seedlings that I'm growing yes there's a lot of wine bottles in there that's another way to water it plus I like my wine so, um, and you can see these guys are waiting for some food. I'm not going to feed them at the bead, bead feeder, bird feeder. Ornamental onions have gotten huge. Carpenter bees seem to love it. Uh, we've got tomatoes growing, uh, peppers over there, tomatoes right here. The flowers just grew in there automatically from something. Um, yeah. I, we cut these bad boys back. My boyfriend and I both worked on it and I've got to go in there in a little bit and get rid of some of the weeds in the center because um, he's going to put a new layer of mulch so it'll look really pretty. And then we have tons of geese down here. Come on, we're going to go down to the water. Yeah, we're going to go down to the water. I forget what I was going to plant in the one where my roses were. Um, I had a problem with rust in my roses. So um, instead of buying the chemical treatment stuff, I potted, I replanted them in different soil. And they're doing much better. They're starting out again. Hello. Hello. Just walking amongst the geese that are going to hiss at us. Hello. Hello. Hello, families. No families. Okay, carry on. Me and my ducks are going to go down here. Carry on. <laughs> carry on. As soon as they see me put food down, they're probably going to come down here. There's some more geese. And here you go, teens. There you go. Oh, here come the geese. Oh. There's not enough room for all of you. There's not enough room. Bloop. Teenagers. All right. So, I got more work to do. Here they come. They're going to bully, bully the teenagers out of the way. You know what? That's okay. I got more for my teenagers. You know I love you guys. Here we go. Have at it. Oh, no. Hello? Can I help you? Oh, you're such a bully. Such bullies. See, I can hiss too. I know, I'm not worried about them attacking me. If they did, I'd survive. They could be pretty brutal though. 
but uh, I'm not worried about it. Am I worried about it? Oh, oh, oh my. Oh my. Chase my teenagers away. They'll be back. I'm tired, y'all. All right. Have a great day. Bye.